Good morning, Quadcopter 101 with another review here. This is the FQ777 FQ20. The FQ20, as you can guess by my phone being on my controller here, is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer. But it includes a 720p HD camera that records its video directly to your phone via Wi-Fi. Uh, the other thing that's special about this particular quadcopter is it is one of these breakdown quadcopters that you can uh, break down into a small package. These arms actually come loose. Every one of these arms come loose. These, uh, these come off too. The camera stays on though. <laughs> but uh, it actually breaks down into a very small package that you can put in a small pouch. It get, they give you a small pouch to carry it in, but you know, I'd recommend something better than a little pouch to carry all these parts because it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts <laughs> that you're going to have to remove and reinstall once you get in the field. These props also come off and go you know, get replaced rather easily too. You just pop them on like so. Very simple to replace these props. But when doing so, always make sure to match the B, like this is propeller B, with the B on the arm and the B on the body. <laughs> so you got to match both the props and you also need to remember to match these arms, the B arm goes on the B slot, and the A arm goes on the A slot, along with the A propellers. Otherwise, when you get try to fly this thing, it's probably going to flip over on the ground <laughs> if you put on a, a wrong propeller on a wrong spot. A lot of people don't realize that most quadcopters, in fact, all quadcopters that I know of, have two different shaped propellers. Uh, one for clockwise turning motors and one for counterclockwise turning motors. And the idea is these counter the torque of each other. Uh, and and the, normally the clockwise turning will be in the forward left and on the rear right and the counterclockwise propellers will be on the forward right and the rear left motor. This is normally. Sometimes they do alternate but uh, for most quadcopters it's that way. So that's the quadcopter. Let's go over the controller. This is the controller. The buttons for it are, you have one key return, which you can activate by that button there. You have headless mode, which you can activate by that button there. The rates are activated by pushing into the pitch roll stick, and flips are activated by pushing into the, uh, this is the pitch roll stick, I'm sorry. Flips are activated by the pitch roll stick in mode two, and rates are activated by pressing into the throttle yaw stick. It does have automatic takeoff and landing and emergency stop. If it crashes into a tree or bush, you want to stop those motors immediately so they don't burn out. You press that button there. You start the motors. Bring them to idle by bringing both sticks down and to the left. And you can calibrate the gyros by bringing both sticks down and to the right. And these buttons here, this is your pitch trim and your roll trim. And an on-off switch. So that's it. And again, you got a phone holder. The app that this uses is HTS UFO. And let's go right into a flight of this to demonstrate that app and demonstrate the quadcopter. I forgot to mention, it's got a 7.4 volt battery in there, uh, but it's quite a common battery, so you'll be able to find it. But, okay, got the quadcopter started. Let's start up the app, or let's bind it to the controller first. I want to demonstrate one thing before we take off. Let's start those motors. Bring them to idle, turn the transmitter off. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. The light is blinking. Maybe I'll, let's go to the air. Let's turn the transmitter back on see. and bring it to low hover and turn the transmitter off. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. Unfortunately, this appears to have a flyaway issue, so let's rebind it. Got control again. So I would recommend keeping this rather close to you when flying. Let's go back over to the landing pad. That's a shame. Looks like a nice flying quadcopter. Feels good, but it does have a flyaway issue. Let's do that automatic landing. Okay. So, always check that. When you get a new quadcopter, folks, see, see if there is a potential for it to keep on running if you run out of range. So let's start up the uh, app and go right into a flight. Okay, this is the HTS UFO app used with this quadcopter. We are going to start it, and there's our FPV video. And we are going to start the video recording, and we are going to start the motors and do an automatic takeoff. Now, <laughs> now you know you saw me there. It, there is a potential for flyaway, so we are going to fly this upwind, which appears to be that way right now. 
so that if it does fly out of range, it will drift back into range of my controller. Now let's try that camera on this. That's an important thing, folks. If you fly distant or if there is a potential for you flying further than your transmitter, always fly upwind. And the reason being, if the quadcopter does lose, uh, lose reception from your controller, let me go to higher rate, it will, or it should, drift back into range of your controller. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right about there, go up a little higher, and rotate again, showing the camera. And also I'm looking at uh, my screen here, and I do have good signal. It seems to be a good picture on here. Let's go to the right. Nice general flyer. Okay, let's come back down. So you can see it up close. It's a little wind blowing it by me. I like my shirt today, folks. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the screen and pushing forward. Let's do a follow me. Follow, oh, gotta go the other way for follow me. Pushing forward. Nice wide angled lens on this thing. Um, and I'm not seeing much distortion on my phone with that wide angle lens. So you got good view here. There is a possibility here of doing FPV, I think. Let's see if I can fly between the trees. Based on the, uh, I don't know, Wi-Fi lag makes me concerned. So I'm trying, I'm trying to go between. I'll go over here, then I'm gonna turn it around. Bringing it back. <laughs> so there is some Wi-Fi lag. So mainly I would use this as a camera bird. Its camera does look kind of nice. Okay, let's go to higher rate. This is expert rate. Let's try those flips. Let's try another flip. How about a forward flip? And a backward flip. Okay, now let's try its maneuverability. I fly around at high rate. Before I do that, let me stop what video I got and start it back up again, just to make sure. Now, I expect the Wi-Fi to be rather choppy in this portion of the flight because I'm going to be trying things. Let's try a roll. Oh, I didn't like that roll. Emergency stop. Didn't like that roll I didn't, while going forward. So let's see if we can do an automatic takeoff from this position. Let's put it in my hand, see if we can do a takeoff from my hand. Sticks down to the left. And I'll just increase the throttle. And stopping the video that I got so far. Let's try, uh, there's a fire somewhere. Oh, it looks like I'm in headless mode. Did I press headless mode? Yeah, I pressed headless mode button. That's what happened there, folks. <laughs> the headless mode button is in a position I normally would use for uh, flips. So you can confuse yourself real quickly with this thing. But let's let's go into headless mode. Which way's forward? That way's forward. This way's back. With that in mind, coming down lower. Lower because I want to try out the camera. Take a still. Going forward and back. Pop it there. <laughs> Took a few pictures. And going back to recording mode. And coming out of headless mode. So that was headless mode, uh, one key return. Let's go down here and press the one key return button. You gotta go in the direction the headless mode is for that one key return to work, but pressing one key return, and here it comes back rather slowly. Again, you know, one key return is really not a return to home. All it does is fly the exact opposite direction you were pointed when you took off. And this one does it rather slowly, so I wouldn't recommend that for uh, returning to home. 
Okay, going back to normal flying and going to lower rate. Mainly because the main thing about this quadcopter seems to be it appears to be a good camera bird. At least its video looks good. The video looks rather good. Let's go up toward the sun and turn it around. Nice smooth flyer. Nice steady smooth flyer. That's the wind blowing it back. Pulling it backward. Do a backward pan away from me. Now the wind's coming this way. We got real variable wind here today. But how's its lights? No blinking. So we'll go up right about there and rotate. Rotate. Showing the camera. And again, it appears to have a nice camera. I hope that jello is, there's not much jello. We'll find out here post production. Normally, there is a lot of jello with these toy quads. And you got to keep in mind, they are toy quads. So you get, usually, normally do see some jello. You know, don't expect this to be, to perform like a uh, DJI product. Because it's not, it's a toy with a camera. So you, you get what you pay for in effect. I'm going to hire a rate here. And coming down lower. And I want to see its flight time. So we're going to go that way. And do some more maneuverability fl flying. Coming back up wind. Stop at that camera too. And starting the camera for the last portion of the flight. Flies nicely. Flies nice and smooth. Hopefully they can correct that uh, issue of potential flyaway. But if you do notice it flying away from you, the first thing you're going to need to do is run toward it. <laughs> if you lose control of it, run toward it and keep trying to rebind the transmitter to it until you get control. And then bring it in close. Nice flyer, actually. Really nice flyer. Smooth. Any more flip left in it? Still got flip. Long flight time. Ah, there we go. Start riding. Let go of the stick. <laughs> I got control again. <laughs> so there I lost control of it there so that's what you need to do folks start running toward it until you it automatically regained it so you don't need to move your sticks up and down it automatically regained it but if it does do that start running toward it until you get control okay now we know <laughs> how much more flight time is left on this thing I've been flying it for quite a time quite some time let me get that video Stopping that video and starting it again. Well, there. Now we know you can you can regain control. Just run toward it. Close. You know, make yourself closer to it so you can so its signal can be picked up again. Keep in mind, I'm an old man running toward it, so I wasn't running very fast. <laughs> Like I said, it's nice and maneuverable. Okay, maybe our flight time is getting low now. Let's let it, I'm letting go of the sticks just so you know what it does. I'd like it to come down a little lower though so I'm in the picture. We'll bring it down to about there. It keeps bobbing back up and then it stops itself right, well there we go. Bobbing. Okay, it's bobbing now because I guess maybe as its battery gets lower it's, it starts to bob. Up and down. Whoop. 
but again very stable this battery's got to be low by now interesting uh, that's what it does uh, lights blinking yet let's bring it down a little lower I'm not seeing actually I'm not seeing any lights <laughs> I'm just, no I see them now no they're not blinking yet 